Hi guys, C Chronicles here. Welcome and welcome back to my YouTube channel. If you are here and it happens to be your first time, my content is mostly fragrance based. I do a lot of fragrance reviews, fashion and lifestyle videos, and sometimes I throw in some vlogs. So if that sounds like something that interests you, please do consider subscribing. I would appreciate you joining this family. I also want to acknowledge my returning subscribers. Thank you for always supporting me. I cannot thank you enough, guys. I appreciate. We have a fragrance review video, but oh, before I do that, let me say, please do follow me on Instagram as well. I, I go by the name see chronicles on instagram let me know in the messages that you've come from here and i will give you a follow back now to the business of the day by popular demand or by popular or by request i have latafa wajud silver this is wajud silver for some reason i don't know why this fragrance i thought this fragrance was called Latafa Nebras Gold. Okay. Now to make it worse, I reached out to SA Cash and Carrier and I said, there is one fragrance that I haven't reviewed of the Latafa Pride collection and that one is called Latafa Winner's Trophy Nebras Silver. And they were like, hello, you know. So anyway, after a lot of back and forth with messages, uh, they got shown the picture and then they figured out, okay, no, this is Wajud. It's not Nebras Silver. So that is what I have for you today for everybody that's been coming wanting to hear about this fragrance that's what i have i'm gonna just take it out uh i've tested it already like i always do i have given this one a test run uh, and the packaging is the same as the gold one in case you guys you know uh, missed that video i'm gonna link the gold one in the description box for those who want to compare so this is of the latafa pride collection and this one is called wajud i'm gonna spray it on my arm and i'm gonna tell you my thoughts okay so while this dries down um there's still a couple of more fragrances from Latafa Pride that I haven't gotten my hands on. These are not in stock at SA Cash and Carry, and I haven't seen them online in some places. So as, as soon as I get my hands on them, I am going to bring them here. And again, if I haven't said it, thank you to SA Cash and Carry for giving me this fragrance for review. Now, into the notes. This one is listed as having marine notes at the top, and then it does have pink pepper. Then it does have vertiver, and it has uh, patchouli in the mid, and it has some sandalwood and some ember. So it is a fragrance that is purported to have six notes um what i can say about this fragrance is it is unisex in nature but male dominant so if you're a woman and you want to try this this is going to be on your male dominant side but it is wearable as a woman and this is why i've actually sprayed it on my arm i could have sprayed it on the tester paper now it opens up with a strong marine note so you are going to get that and if you can get past those marine notes because they're quite prominent in your face you get that in the opening there is a vert over here uh, that captures the the smell of damp uh you know damp roots and um also takes you to a feel of algae you know as though you're at a seaside very earthy damp in nature sandy okay so all this dampness is going to be sandy it's going to be rooty you know like if you're gonna if you if you were to, to to pull some roots or seaweed or something and you smell that is what i get at the top so it does capture those marine notes they capture them perfectly in wajud now it's going to be a fragrance that you either love that or you can't stand that unfortunately because it is predominant in that in as much as it has other notes it does turn woodsy in the end it's got a uh, 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 pink pepper it's got some spiciness there some sandalwood but it has those strong marine notes and the only downside to those notes or that particular note that they've captured is it then tends to go down the saliva note okay and i mean in a in a fragrance form um if you're into fragrances you know that perfumers have been playing around with the saliva note so i do get that uh, in here for some people it's going to be a fragrance that if you cannot get past that you might think oh well it's a bit nauseating it's got this thing it's got this tang that keeps on interrupting and that again becomes the top the mid and the heart um uh, and the, the, the base of the fragrance okay and it does have a bit of some saltiness there um so yes it is on the aquatic side on the oceanic side it's definitely going to take you to a seaside in memory form and that is what you're going to get it is fresh spicy and distinctly green so i've got to put that there in as much as it is woody there is that seaweed smell that you get there and it has the earthy patchouli as well so if if you're not annoyed by that uh tea algae sea uh, damp root smell it could be the patchouli because the patchouli here is also is earthy but it's a bit out there okay it is a bit uh, forward in uh patchouli i get a very unique fragrance here uh i don't know this could be uniquely latafa it could be 
be duping something. The one thing that came to mind when I uh, smelled this was an auto Parisi that I smelled, uh, you know, a while ago. It was just a sniff in a shop, so it's not a dupe by any means, but it kind of uh, gave me that moment, you know, it kind of took me to that moment when I smelled that. I think it was called Veride or something, uh, you know, an auto, uh, an auto Paris Parisi that was very uh, green in nature. I get that here, okay? It is not going to necessarily be a crowd pleasing scent, but if you've got your nose on a lot of fragrances and your nose is adapted to a lot of fragrances you know you're gonna get this 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 is not shocking it's not like a shocking oh my god i've never smelled this in my life before but it has that uniqueness okay so it it i cannot come just i can't i couldn't come here and just say it is oceanic or it is blue in nature yes it is a blue aquatic fragrance but it has you know that outstanding um a green root that comes out there that green accord again is piney in nature and it does have a freshness here but because of that root that is that they have used there or the way they've captured that those marine notes because obviously they are uh, captured like in a synthetic form or whatever uh, you know the way they've captured these notes the freshness here if I just come in and say oh this is a fresh fragrance I might lose people along the way because the freshness is also eucalyptus -y in nature so it it's gonna give you that eucalyptus -y kind of vibe a bit of a pine there so it is a really uh, unique uh, fragrance at least to my nose not exceptionally unique I have smelled something like this before and I mean if you if you've had your nose on uh, fragrances like uh, there, there is a Mimo what is that African leather or something like that this will not shock you that much if you've had your nose on such fragrances before it is not gonna shock you it has that dry down that is again green and herbally and a bit woodsy because again I did say that there is that sandalwood and it does have a spiciness that it can is uh, here okay so if you like uh, that smell of the sea if you like the sea smell but this one uh, is a bit unique in the sense that you're not smelling the fresh water from the sea you're actually smelling the dampness of the roots around the sea so it's going to take you to the edge of the sea you know whether it's algae whether it's those roots that are around the sea you're going to have that damp smell uh, that damp smell of the roots the damp sandy smell this is uh, what i get here and i think of the uh, collection this is one that i would say um it is 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 a bit outstanding okay because uh the, the the rest of them yes they are unique i like especially uh i like uh this popular one what is this called uh um the one that everybody is raving about it's gonna come to me it's gonna come to me uh i like eternal oud i like eternal oud but the eternal oud is a bit on the um you know i can put that one straight up as unisex more wearable you could get yourself accustomed to wearing that this one is a bit different if you've used a lot of different niche fragrances this is not going to uh, surprise you the most but hoping that you can get your nose past that uh uh you know like a, a there's a slight reminisce of some saliva smell there if you can if you can get that and when i say saliva smell for those that uh, uh might find that shocking saliva has been recreated and synthesized into a fragrance note so that smell is there in fragrances you know so the marine notes here capture that you get that as well it is mature smelling beastly fingers crossed it is exclusive to latafa if that ticks your boxes definitely you could go for this i see a lot of gentlemen liking this it is mature in nature i wouldn't gift this fragrance say to a teenager uh, because it does have that matureness i did about 12 to 14 sprays and i had it all day you know i had it from morning when i sprayed it the whole day i had so on about 10 12 14 sprays it can last out to the whole day if you're a person who sprays sparingly then maybe um this one is not going to do much of the talking it does calm down it's not choking it's not you know something that will just take over the room it is a, also a bit intimate you know the way it smells it stays close to the skin but it does project for the first hour see chronicles is my name thank you so much for joining me today i was here to talk about what jude and this is the uh, uh this is a silver uh, version okay the counterpart is gold it is uh, uh for women this one is more on the unisex side guys i hope you have liked if you haven't subscribed i don't know why not guys please do subscribe support this channel turn on post notifications that way you will be notified anytime i upload a video and remember guys smelling good is a form of good manners cheers